What is going on everybody? How are we all doing? And welcome back to the second play review of today and it's another very special one because we're taking a look at another one of these foot birthday special cards and this time it's the turn of Wellington, a Brazilian who was an absolute monster back in the days of FIFA 12 and FIFA 13. I think it was partnered up with the locks of Nilmar, Vagdelov, all those guys. This guy was an absolute monster. If you do enjoy this play review on this new uh, birthday special card, be sure to smash a thumbs up on it. If you get it over 50 likes it will be incredible and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are near and here but we're kicking things off as we always do with the basic information for Wellington he's standing at five foot and ten inches tall he's got high to low work rates which are great for any striker and he comes with a double three star three star skill moves and three star weak foot and looking at his base card and top of our in-game stats he's been pushed up for this card to an 84 rated striker which is 11 ratings above his normal card this year he's got 93 pace 81 dribbling 83 shooting 40 defending 72 passing and 74 physical and his top five in games 99 heading accuracy crazy he's also got 93 acceleration 93 sprint speed 8 penalties and 87 agility and he also comes to the tries to beat the defensive line and the speed dribbler traps and specialities as well looking at the team that we used to be it's exactly the same one that we used for the Ibarbo review that went up earlier today if you did miss that I'll put a link in the top right hand corner of your screen and at the end of the video as well so be sure to check that out and you can see Wellington's return in this team was also very very solid coming away with six goals and three assists so another very well-rounded contribution from this card and as he starts to roll the clips this guy is an absolute monster I actually preferred him to Ibarbo if you've seen the play view on him earlier you'll know my thoughts on him like I said check that out after if you've not yet but this guy is just clinical as anything as soon as you get him in on goal he seems to finish on his right foot on his left foot he finishes all kinds of chances and I think one of the keys to the re one of the key reasons to why he's so effective is the fact that he's got electric pace high to low work rates which already means he's going to be trying to get in behind and he's also got the choice to beat the defensive line as well now when you partner all those together it means he's always making fantastic runs always in the right place at the right time and like so when you partner that, partner that with someone like this who's got 86 finishing fantastic shot power you're always going to be in for a good time the other positives to this card are his dribbling I feel like his agility is absolutely outstanding often weaving in and out of challenges and like I say again partnering it up with that pace makes for a deadly deadly combination the negative to this card he's got a few the skill moves is always something I really don't like when, whenever you've got a strike without four star skill moves I always think it's a big miss and unfortunately as you've just seen he has only got the three star he's also pretty weak when you compare him to a Barbo a Barbo is a very very strong big striker Wellington doesn't have that same kind of feel to me feels even though he's five foot ten, which isn't short he feels very weavy very agile but also very weak because of that as well and his weak foot as well you'll see me score a few on his left foot but I also miss quite a lot on his weak foot as well so his weak foot it is a three star which is average but it was very, very hit and miss for me. Overall, I'm going to be giving this card an 8.5 out of 10. I think one of the major things for me that puts him a bit above Ibarbo as well is the fact that he's much, much easier to get into a strong team. He's playing in the Turkish League, which is not a bad league whatsoever. And with him being Brazilian as well, there's lots of opportunities to hybrid him into other teams. So it's not a difficult player to get into teams. And that is another reason why I think he's a bit more expensive than Ibarbo. Currently going for end of 50k mark. And I'm going to say the same thing that, again, I said about Ibarbo. Great for a super sub. If you've got a bit of spare coins, you want someone that's going to be great off the bench, Wellington is someone that could really do that for you. Great pace, great finishing, and he's always going to be making those runs, which against tired defences could be absolutely fantastic. But he's going to end up this play review, lads. Like I said at the start, smash a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. I'll speak to all in tomorrow's play review, lads. I'm not quite sure who I'm going to do, the, do yet. There's loads of requests after the Ibarbo one, but there's going to be, I'm going to do as many as I can, basically. So I hope you do all enjoy them. As always, like I said, smash a thumbs up button. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll speak to you there. Need you out. Yo, he's Nidge plays with big games and player reviews are getting insane. He entertains while he elevates his video quality resonates on career mode. He got lots of vids uploading off and he's rocking it. He's got the confidence in all his commentaries. Videos range, they often vary. Got need for speed and a road to glory. Just watching vids and you know the story. The content is underrated. I'm understating, so don't ignore the like.